And welcome back to Getting Technical with your boys here, Dan Gillespie and myself, Mason Day. And today we're, we're, we're changing the game up a little bit. You know, usually we're talking about a very specific set of crops, uh, but today we're talking about other green crops because Jack's Nutrients uh, works for all, you know, sorts of controlled environment um, grow operations. So, Dan, today I want to talk about lettuce and specifically tip burn in lettuce. If you're growing lettuce in like a controlled environment hydroponic setting, you know, I know that this is super common when you're growing lettuce. What causes this tip burn, if you will? Yeah, Mason. So tip tip burn in lettuce is a calcium deficiency, but it is not typically caused by an insufficient supply of calcium. In most cases, especially if you're using the correct Jack's formula, you'll be providing enough calcium to the plant. It may not just be making its way into the plant and into the new growth where that tip burn is occurring. All right, so so if you've got enough calcium, you know, in the solution, why isn't the calcium getting to this new growth? Good question. So most often it can be attributed to insufficient transpiration of the new young leaves. So water and calcium uptake, Mason, are a function of the plant's transpiration rate. Transpiration is essentially when the plant sweats and it's what drives water and calcium uptake. When a head of lettuce grows, the older, larger leaves are gonna begin to enclose the young new growth, right? So you get that head of lettuce. Now, what happens is this creates a very humid microclimate around that new young growth, which is going to decrease our transpiration rate. If the transpiration rate decreases, that means our water and calcium uptake is also going to decrease. Okay, so that makes sense. So it sounds like if we increase the transpiration rate, we can increase that water and calcium uptake? Yes, exactly. So that's the goal. So we want to increase the transpiration rate at that humid microclimate around the new growth. So one of the most common and probably the most effective strategy for this is applying vertical airflow fans that will reduce the boundary layer on that new growth which is going to increase the transpiration rate, thus increasing water and calcium translocation to that new young growth. So essentially we want airflow that is directed at the new growth of the lettuce. So this was, like I said, increasing the transpiration rate, increasing calcium and water uptake. So vertical airflow directed down at the growing tip. All right, cool. Because I think, you know, growing up in the greenhouse environment, we always think of the fans, we're pushing air horizontally. But what right. you're telling me is that we need vertical airflow fans really directed at that new growth that's sort of yeah. being guarded by that old growth. Uh, so, yeah, so a little, you know, outside of the box, non-traditional way to get airflow. Sounds good, Dan. Anything else? No, it's, it, just wrapping up, Mason, you know, to kind of bring this point home is not all nutritional disorders are going to be caused by a lack of supply, but it's just a matter of getting those nutrients into the plant. Absolutely. We talk about that all the time, you know, with things like pH and EC and making sure that everything is, you know, not only is it there, but is it going into your plants? So exactly awesome, right. Dan. Well, Thanks for hanging out today and talking about a very important uh, topic, you know, with a large section of our Jack's Nutrients growers out there. And until next time, uh, have a great week and we'll be back with more Getting Technical. Good stuff. See you, Mason.